Let's do a grocery haul and an Azure haul. Hello family, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. I am Vicki and you're with Grammy in the Kitchen. So yesterday I did my homework to see who had chicken on sale or any kind of protein on sale. Kroger actually had their Purdue brand. Buy one, get one free. So we picked up four packages of four chicken thighs, bone in, skin on. So basically I bought two, got two free. Very happy with that. Plus we got four whole chickens that we're gonna go ahead and get these ready for the freezer. That's something you're interested in, stick around. It's gonna be a great video. So at Kroger, the whole chickens were $1.29 a pound. I have four of those. The chicken thighs were $2.49 a pound. I know, not cheap at all, but it's buy one, get one free. So it's basically $1.25 a pound. That's okay. That's 25 cents more than I like to spend on chicken thighs, but we are out. We need to fill the freezer. So I picked up four until I can catch them on sale cheaper than $1.25. I ended up getting the $5.35 and the $4.98 for free. I did pay for $6.05 and $5.93. So buy one, get one free, and the whole chickens. We need to go ahead and get everything processed. I am going to go ahead and debone and de-skin all of the chicken thighs and I want to cut up three of these chickens into fryer parts. One, I'm going to do a spatchcock so I can get it in the crock pot so I can get cooking for today because we have to pick up our Azure order. So I'm going to put everything back in the refrigerator until we're ready to work on it. But I ended up spending $39.08 on four whole chickens and four packs of four chicken thighs. So spatchcock means you just remove the backbone, leave everything together. But I do want to get some of this excess fat off. So I'm just going to use the kitchen shears and cut that off. It's going to be super simple. Alright, let's turn him over. Let's cut along the backbone. And be careful, these bones are sharp up in here.
Then the last three I'm just going to cut up into fryer parts. So I'm going to separate the wings, separate the drumsticks from the thighs, separate the breasts, and I like to cut my breasts in half to make two pieces on each side. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the leg. So I'm just going to go in here and cut the skin. Separate that joint, the thigh bone from um, the backbone. So I have the leg quarter right here. I am going to separate that. You'll see a line of fat. Just cut right down that line. And now I have two pieces cut. Do the other side. Separate the leg pieces. Now I want to remove the wings. And now the other wing. I have a scrap bowl right here for the backbones and all the wing tips. All right, now we're going to remove this backbone just like we did on that other chicken. Now we just have the breastbone and the breast meat we'll cut down right down the center.
and I like to cut my breasts in half. I have four very large Ziploc bags ready to go. I'm going to put everything in here except for the chicken wings. I like to keep those separate. So when the husband and I just want to have chicken wings with a pizza, I don't have to buy wings separate. So the four pieces of chicken breast. drumsticks and the two thighs so before I vacuum seal this I need to wash my hands again so we have one whole chicken ready for the freezer let me work on the other two bring it back when we're ready to work on those thighs So now we're going to go ahead and remove the skin and bones off of these chicken thighs and make our own boneless skinless. We're not paying anybody to do this for us. We'll do it ourselves and save some money. Alright, so I removed the skin. There's only one bone in a chicken thigh and it runs up and down. So we're going to cut along one side. I'm using a small little paring knife. And then we're going to remove we're going to move that meat to the other side of the bone. We're going to put our finger underneath, insert the knife underneath the bone, but know where your fingers are. And cut up. Scrape the meat off of the bone down onto the, the thigh. And then we're going to remove the bone from the bottom half. Cut away any of that cartilage, bone. Put that in our scrap bowl. And we have one chicken thigh. Let's go ahead and do another one. Cut down one side, move the meat over, cut down the other side, try not to pierce it all the way through that chicken thigh. Put your fingers underneath of it, insert the knife. Cut up. Let me go ahead and do all four of these packages. I'll bring you back when we're ready to put them in vacuum seal bags. So I'm separating all the fat from the chicken thighs from this bowl. This is going to be all of the chicken thigh bones plus the back bones and the wing tips. This is future chicken stock right here. So everything is going to go in this Ziploc bag.
and I have four vacuum seal bags. We're going to put our chicken thighs in here, four per pack. And then we'll vacuum seal it and get it in the freezer. We got all the chicken prepped. I have it in the refrigerator at the moment. We will put that in the freezer once we finish with the Azure haul. So let's see what we got this month. So the first thing we got was a case of the big cans of diced tomatoes. The natural value diced tomatoes, it's an organic, it's the big can. And I use, it came in a case of six this is what I make my pasta sauce with. We put in three cups of carrots, three cups of celery, three cups of onions, six cans of tomato paste, plus six cans of diced tomatoes, herbs, spices, some sugar. We'll use the stick blender to puree it. Then we get them in jars. I get about right around 19 quarts from this case of six large cans of diced tomatoes with all the other things. And this case of tomatoes was $53.38. We got a case of the Concord grapes. It's a Crofter's Concord grape organic. That was $27.54 for six. We also have a case of Peanut butter, it's an unsweetened, creamy, organic, once again, nut butter. Six in a case. That was $37.88. I only have one repurposed box. We have a gallon size jar of the Azure Market Organic Coconut Oil. It's the Expreller Pressed. That was $12.70. Compare that from the grocery store. That is super cheap, family. And it's one gallon. Now, when I fry foods, like fried chicken or fried vegetables and it needs to be like deep fried. I use coconut oil. Yes, the flavor does carry just a bit, but out of all the oils I use, this is the cheapest. So I don't mind, and I don't like the word wasted because it's not a waste. But if I have to use a lot of oil to do pan frying, I'd rather use coconut oil because it's a cheaper better oil than getting canola oil or sunflower oil. The olive oil and the avocado oil is really expensive. This is on the cheaper side and it's better for you. I got my one pound whole peppercorn and this was $21.32. I buy the peppercorns because I like grinding it myself. It doesn't have any of the anti-caking ingredients in it that if you get already ground pepper, it will have that in there. So I just grind as I need it to fill my small little jar I keep beside the stove. I like to have peppercorn in my kitchen, on my shelves, in mason jar, plus a backstock. 
This is actually going to go on the shelf. I need to order one more so I can have it as my back stock for emergencies. We tried to order this last month, but it was unavailable. I'm so glad we got it this month. We have our sales flyer. We'll go through this and see what's on sale, what is new. Read the articles in here. Sometimes reading it from the founders of Azure is very, very informative. And I like reading it. That way I can see what's new and what's coming and why are they not selling this product when they used to have such product. So this is really good just to sit down, relax, and read. I went ahead and got another ounce of whole vanilla beans. We like to make our own vanilla extract using liquor. I used all of my beans the last time we made vanilla extract and I just wanted to have a backup for if we need to make it again. Not planning on making vanilla anytime soon, but I do like to have a backup. And family, when I tell you vanilla beans are not cheap, for one ounce pack it was $29.12. And there's probably about 10 in here which is enough to do one batch of vanilla extract. All right, we got one box empty. And another thing we got was 40 pounds of Gala apples. And they are beautiful. I ate one on the way home, so delicious. But there are one, two, three, four, five, 20 on a row and it looks like I might have four rows so it's like 80 apples and you're probably like Grammy what are you gonna do with 40 pounds of apples we're gonna make applesauce we're gonna make apple pie filling we're gonna eat fresh apples we're gonna be doing a lot of things with apples we're gonna do it this weekend when we have some time off from work to deal with these apples. I do not have an apple peeler or an apple slicer. I do want to invest in one soon. Not this season. Maybe the next time we do apples. So all of this has to be done by hand. And we're doing it by ourselves. But that's okay. We're going to do it. And 40 pounds of apples was $49.50. Now this is an organic gala apples. Yes, I could probably get it cheaper at the store. Maybe not. But at least I trust the company that it came from. The last thing we got was Nancy's probiotic sour cream. So we have six one pound tubs of sour cream. No, we don't use that much sour cream, but I'm gonna do an experiment. Now we have made our own sour cream using the heavy cream we get from our local herd share. Put a little bit of yogurt or a starter of some sort, which we can use this as a starter. Cause it's a probiotic so that it has live bacteria so it will grow. So I am going to actually freeze five of these. Keep one in the refrigerator. I don't know if sour cream freezes well. If you know the answer to that, please leave a comment below. And that way when we need to make our own sour cream using our fresh, raw, heavy cream we get every week, we just have to put a couple tablespoons in it, let it ferment, and we have homemade sour cream. But I'm going to put five of these in the freezer just to see if sour cream freezes well. And once it's frozen, can we still make our own sour cream? But this was on sale this past month. And for six one pound tubs, it was $19.01. Now my total for this Azure order was $250.45. I have to pay shipping at eight and a half percent based on weight and that was twenty one dollars and twenty nine cents 
So that was a total of $271.74. I did have Azure Cash from the last order from last month, which was $6.52. So my total cost was $265.22. But we got apples we're going to can. We've got an experiment with sour cream to see if it freezes well. We're going to have 19 quarts of pasta sauce, plus the husband has his peanut butter and jelly for his sandwiches that he takes to work. We've got peppercorn. Thank goodness we have peppercorn. And we also got some vanilla beans for a future vanilla extract. We tried two months to get some coconut oil and we finally got it. So happy. We got the peppercorn, we got the coconut oil. Happy, happy, happy. I just want to say thank you very much for hanging out with me in the kitchen today while we prepped some chicken to get it into the freezer when we found protein on sale in our local store. Plus we have our Azure order. Now I need to put everything away, my favorite part. But if you don't mind, give this video a thumbs up. And while you're at it, please subscribe. I would absolutely love to have you part of the Grammy family. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye, family. Hey, if you're not busy, come help me peel some apples.